Heat cramps, heat exhaustion, heat stroke. We're gonna figure it out right now. Everyone, welcome to the channel. It is Paramedic Coach. Make sure to hit like, smash, and annihilate that like button down below. Hit subscribe for the most EMS education content on YouTube. And we're gonna dive in to our practice question in three, two, one, and here it is. So you find a 42-year-old male lost in the forest who complains of dizziness, nausea, and feels like he is going to faint. You suspect, here it is. Is it A, heat cramps, B, classic heat stroke, C, heat exhaustion, or D, exertional heat stroke? A, B, C, or D, you got three seconds. Three, two, one. Drop your answer in the comments down below, and the answer is C, heat exhaustion. Now, if that went through you and you're like, why is that? I'm going to explain it right now. Hyperthermia is when the core body temperature is too high. There's three heat emergencies I'm going to talk about with you right now, and we're going to understand these cold. Now, here it is. First, we have heat cramps. Oh, yeah. By the way. Stay for the bonus. I'm going to talk to you about classic versus exertional. Stay for that too. Now, heat cramps. Heat cramps is when we lose water and we lose sodium. And our most tired muscles cramp up and get affected. Our blood pressure is normal at this stage. We might have a little bit of tachycardia going on, right? A little bit of elevated heart rate. But our blood pressure is normal. Our mental status is normal. We don't feel like we're going to pass out. But our muscles are just, the muscles that we're using the most, they are the most tired, they are cramping up, right? We can solve this with just replacing the lost water and sodium. That's it, okay? Now, if we move on to heat exhaustion, this is where we start to see more severe signs and symptoms. And we also see here the first change in blood pressure. If I can tell you two things about heat exhaustion, it's this, orthostatic hypotension. You notice that. The second thing what you're gonna notice with heat exhaustion is the patient may either pass out syncope or feel like they want to faint, which is a near syncope, that they want to pass out, but their body is bleeding them that way, right? Now, syncope near syncope is most common, right? Dizziness, nausea, headache. That was our last patient who said, didn't have vitals yet, but the patient you walk up, I'm dizzy. I'm nauseous, I think I'm gonna pass out. It's a heat emergency, heat exhaustion. Now, the body temperature will go above 103, 103 Fahrenheit, okay? Now, with heat stroke, what's the big pro I want you to remember? Syncope, yes, but more than that, altered mental status, seizures, right? Coma, this can all happen with heat stroke. So with heat stroke, the core body temperature is above 105 Fahrenheit. And what happens inside a heat stroke is this can lead to death. This is a severe medical emergency, right? Now what we get here is tachycardia and hypotension. This is what we end up with, right? And we're starting to actually damage the body's tissues based on the temperature being so high. This patient is likely to be altered mental status, and if not yet, would be unresponsive. That's heat stroke. So these are the levels, right? To paint a picture, I'm cramping up, I've lost water and sodium, I feel like I'm gonna faint, and I have symptoms, altered mental status, or I'm unresponsive. That's the way you can remember it and look at the levels. Now what's this earlier on about classic versus exertional? Classic heat stroke, what that is, is simply someone, classic heat stroke really affects the very young and the very old. So classic heat stroke is you've been in the environment for too long and you're at risk of getting a heat emergency. Exertional, that happens to athletes. So the athlete has been training too hard or in the game for too long in the heat. Classic, young and old, exertional, usually, 
athletes. If you're getting ready for school, if you're in school right now, or getting ready for your NREMT exams at any level, EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic, click the first link in the description. I will give you a lifetime access right now to my video vault. It includes for 420 videos of EMS educational content and a private student community group where you can ask me questions while you're going throughout your journey. My name is Paramedic Coach. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.